The temperatures are falling once again tonight, folks, as the skies are nice and clear. Winds are pretty calm and there's much less moisture in the atmosphere, meaning next to no fog. But you're probably wondering, well, what's up with Waco? Everyone else is in those low 40s, upper 30s. Well, keep in mind, the measurements are taken from the airport and they tend to be in a much lower spot than the rest of the city. The city is still in those upper 30s. The reading we're getting from the airport right now, yeah, it's already down to 29 degrees. Nonetheless, it's still pretty chilly out there, so and it's going to get even colder. So be sure to have that jacket handy for tomorrow morning. N right now, nice clear skies all across the region. But we're already starting to see a little bit of that cloud cover slowly trying to make its way into the Texas Panhandle. That's going to continue throughout the late overnight hours, but really most of the cloud cover for our region, we're not going to see that until tomorrow afternoon overnight tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a chilly one folks overnight. Well, we got temperatures getting below the freezing point 32 degrees. Of course, with the exception of the Brazos Valley College Station getting down to about 35 degrees, but similar to what we saw today temperatures. They're going to rise back up into those upper 50s for the most part, considering well, a lot of that cloud cover that's not going to be coming in until late tomorrow evening ahead of the cold front making its way in on Tuesday and you're really going to start to see it here on a future cast. So those winds they're starting to shift. They're going to be coming out of the east, bringing in a little bit of that moisture resulting in extra clouds during the late evening. Then the rain starts to come in and wow, first it starts off as isolated, then scattered, and then we're starting to see widespread showers. So definitely give yourself some extra time on Tuesday. This is going to last throughout the day. Most of it is going to be some thunderstorms as well. Heavy parts of the rain coming through and I see even a little bit of snow, but don't get your hopes up. We're not going to be getting any kind of snow across our region. Most of this is going to be staying in the panhandle as well as far northern Texas near the Oklahoma border. It's possible to see a flurry or two along the very northern parts of the area. But again, it's a model. Don't follow it exactly. Cloud cover. Yeah, that's going to be sticking around throughout the day on Tuesday. Now, how much rainfall are we going to be getting? Well, actually, a solid amount anywhere from about half an inch in Temple to over an inch in places like Comanche and Brownwood. Of course, severe thunderstorms storm risk very minimal same as what we saw yesterday so that is certainly some good news cool down yeah that's coming of course that's pretty typical with these cold fronts